at 30 something, we didn't have set PAs. I thought that I wanted to be a set PA, but we didn't really have those. We just had two PAs that worked everything. We did everything. Um, we worked for the executive producers. We delivered stuff. We ran around you know, town delivering stuff in the cars. Um, I ran around a bicycle delivering stuff and you know really um, you know we were sort of jack of all trades we did, did a lot of copying scripts and you know but I got to know everybody and it was great and I started um, picking up like the editorial paperwork from the script supervisor at like seven in the morning and taking it up to the editors and you know I just that became like a responsibility that I just kind of took because usually the script supervisor would do it himself. But I just became like this person who said, oh, I'll do it, you know. And so it got me, to, I got to know a lot of the people, you know, on the set doing that. I got to know the camera guys, taking those reports up, and stuff like that. And then I got to know the editors. And then from there, I just kind of, you know, started hanging out a lot in editorial. When I wasn't, you know, running around for producers, I was up in editorial hanging out with those guys. And so those guys were mentoring me. One of them was Victor Dubois. He was probably my first mentor. Um, and at the time they were working, I'm gonna date myself again. We were working on the Ediflex. Um, and um, he, told, he showed me how to make cuts and stuff on the Ediflex. And he started giving me you know, scenes to cut where he couldn't give them to me for air because that would violate the union contract, but he would give me stuff to uh, practice and, you know, then I would show it to him and he'd give me notes and stuff. And he kept saying, you know, he told me later, he said, wow, you're, you're really, really good, <laughs> you know, but he, he was like being, you know, sort of humbling me at the time, but he told me much later, about 15 years later, that he was like, I started wanting to give you stuff for the show because you can actually like, I can just put it in the show, you know, but of course we couldn't actually do that but it was way fun and I learned a lot and then uh, the executive producers um, there were probably I still say that they were probably some of the smartest that I've ever worked with it was Marshall Her Herskovitz and Edward Zwick and and also Scott Winant he wasn't an EP but he was I believe a supervising producer at the time if I remember correctly and all of them were really instrumental in trying to get me into the union I mean they were all like making calls and it was really kind of cool I mean they couldn't actually do it but um, at one point uh, Marshall Herskovitz I believe they had the two guys had written a, uh, a TV movie that Peter Horton ended up directing um, for the summer and they did it non-union and I ended up getting my days. Like they asked, Victor Dubois was gonna cut it and they asked him, would he mind taking me on as an assistant um, so I could get my, you know, the 100 days that I need to get to get into the union. And so that's what I did. That was my first assistant job.